tie another wet deer hair mayfly here. Uh, and this one is the medium olive CPR deer hair may. Right. CPR is some of those you've watched. No, it means that I'm going to use a cock pheasant rump feather within the fly. Firstly, the tail is a bunch of uh, golden olive dyed cock pheasant tail fibers. I set those on to be one, one and a half times the length of our body. And then once with that down tight, if you grab this and pull back against itself, it'll trim that off against your thread and there'll be no need to use your scissors. So again, we're going to use gold rib gold oval here, tie that in and take it down to our tail. The body, a medium olive seals for. Stretch out the bunch and then just wind it on to create a dubbin rope. And we're wrapping that forward and leaving ourselves space here for the head hackle at the front. Anyway, body hackle I'm going to use this which is like a medium olive guide. Fox saddle. I'm going to tie a feather in by its base. Taking about three turns or so at the front, and then I start to travel backwards with it, and maybe another three, four turns to get to the rear. We take our gold oval on this over the feather and wrap forward, and then the last turn here is coming through my three turns at the front next to me on this side. And then whenever I put a wrap across it, it should be in position on top of the hook. Now, snap that off. Trim that off. I'm just going to force those back a little bit. This is a cock pheasant rump patch, which I've dyed in a mixture of fluorescent yellow and olive. I'm going to take a feather out of that and strip off everything. Where I suppose these would have been called church window feathers originally. And now I'm just going to slide all back like that, grab it by the tip, nip the tip off. I have a few fibres coming forward with a very slight little bit of stock in there. So I apply that up to the side, hold in place my thumb, wrap across it, fold it back, and a couple of wraps to tie it in. Then we take our hackle pliers. And I grab put my finger and thumb around the stock, squeeze them together, and then I pull that hackle through my finger and thumb as I wrap and that puts all the fibres together on one side so now I'm going to wrap across it, I pull that hackle stock back Put in a few turns just to tie it in. Now, as the fly stands, that would do you as it's a normal hackled wet fly. But we're going to put in a deer hair wing. Uh, it's also the same body type as if you were doing a, uh, a muddler version of it. But this time we're going to keep the wing on top, so we're going to use this, which is a, a deer, which is a sort of a prick-rick-dyed deer. 
No, I cut a bunch out of that. And then just trim off the trim up the ends. And I set that up on top for length. There's only a couple of mil extra on it. And I put on a couple of wraps and just tighten them down. And then I'm gonna take you see now I wrap through these butt ends. And then finish the head off. And that leaves the deer hair on top like a wing. And that's our fly finished. Just need to take a super glue. Get that varnished up. And a little bit of the front there. And just fold those butt ends back in. There you have medium olive CPR deer hair wet mate.